it's time to add another page to our art journal, and this time we're going to study a chevron pattern. Chevron is actually just lines that come together to create an inverted V. And if you look at this one that I have here, you can see a lot of V's kind of lined up together to create a chevron pattern, or sometimes we call it zigzag. So, okay, to get started, let's open up our sketchbooks and take a look at what we're going to need. So I've got a line of paint colors. You can pick your favorites, two or four or whatever you want. Some paint brushes, a permanent marker or ink pen, and a pencil. So we could get really um, formal and use a ruler here, or we can just hand draw our zigzag pattern like you can see I've done here. I kind of like the wiggly zigzag, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then we're gonna add some color. And I just wanted to talk to you a minute about picking colors. I like to pick things when I'm creating a pattern that have a nice contrast, and that means, um, you know, uh, strikingly different from one another. So this purple is quite different from the yellow. But if you look at these two colors, these would probably be a poor choice to put next to each other because they're so similar. So make sure you choose two or four completely different colors. Then I'm going to get some paint, and I have some ready to go here. And you're just going to start painting your lines. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can drag the paint using the wide end of the paintbrush. Look, at I'm using the whole brush here. And you can just start making your stripes and then come this way and do the same thing. Like so. And then I'm using a little bit thinner paint uh, so it goes on the page nice and easy. Now, if you wanna switch colors, and if you, if you need to clean up the edge, you can just use the edge of your paintbrush. But let's say we want to do another color right now, and this is still wet. That's okay. Guess what you can do? Just grab a new paintbrush. You would want to put your um, purple paintbrush in a cup of water so it doesn't dry out. But just skip a line or two even and start painting again. And this is awesome because it's like a neat fluorescent yellow color. And you would just keep painting your zigzags until you have something that looks like this. And now for the fun part, let's add some pattern within pattern. So I've got my chevron pattern here, but now if you look really close, I've taken my permanent ink pen and started doodling patterns on top of each of the colored zigzags. So let's move up here to this orange section. And the first thing you might wanna do is just actually outline your zigzag. And you could use a ruler or you can just freehand it. I'm using a really fine tip marker because I want it, my um, doodles to be really thin instead of a wide tip marker. And it works really well on top of this painted surface. And if you get out of the lines like I did, that's okay. Just come back here, fill it in, and make it look like you meant to do that. Nobody's gonna know. And then come down here. So then, once you get the entire zigzag outlined, and you could do the whole page at a time, you can come in and start creating your pattern. So let's, let's think of some patterns. We've got polka dots, like we saw on the cookies. You can do zigzags, like I have here. Some little half circle shapes are fun. Stripes, like I'm working on right now. I've got some more pattern ideas in my finished example over here, like a checkerboard. And you can even make up your own pattern because a pattern is simply something that repeats. So you can make up your own, you know, wiggly shape. Just make it over and over again so that it repeats. So I know you're gonna have a blast coming up with your own patterns, filling in your own Chevron design in your sketchbook at home.